The Rabbit and Gina podcast. So I thought we could have some pillow talk, Rabs. Happy to. Pillow talk. Oh, really sure. Pillow talk's actually when when couples go to bed at night and have a conversation, isn't it? Uh, I think it's a bit more than that. Love loving conversations. Yeah, I think it's um. They're playing Barry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not playing Ralph. They're um. <laughs> that's. That's pillow talk music. Pillow talk music. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a How bit. How you of... doing? <laughs> You're drooling a bit. <laughs> Might just want to. It's Might my my pillow. You got your head on. Can I have my <laughs> pillow? Mm, pillow talk. <laughs> Can I please have my pillow back? That's my pillow. Have you ever gone you over? You have the flat one. I have the big floofy one. <laughs> uh, have Which you ever gone over for a cuddle and then you wake up and you're dribbling on? I've, I've woken up many times dribbling on Rod's pillow. <laughs> 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 I got to roll back on my own. Then. <clears throat> pillow talk. <laughs> Your pillow's wet. <laughs> yeah, ew, I'm not sleeping on that one. Then again, I was just sleeping on Oh, that's mine. <laughs> so, pillow talk. So, do you remember, um, it was actually last year for Rod's birthday, Rod had, my husband had a big birthday, and we mm. went and stayed at this flash place, and they had these beautiful pillows. So, I took the case off, and I took you off- You can say you took the pillows. <laughs> I want- So, I, I took the pillows. I can't even tell you how tempted I was, but I didn't. I, I reckon. Didn't. I reckon- I reckon they notice when they come in, like to clean the room and get it ready yeah. and stuff. The pillows are all gone. They'd notice. I reckon they'd notice. Do you know what you should do? <laughs> yeah. Is take. Oh yeah, yeah, a yeah. Pillow with like you. Like you do with the soft drinks in the Leave fridge. Leave it. Drink that, then go to the supermarket. Well, yes. Grab those, put them back. We have just come up with something. Swing by Kmart <laughs> on the way yes. to the hotel. Yes. Swap the pillows, take home the fancy Such ones. A great idea. I love how you've developed more of a criminal mind in your time <laughs> that you've been working with me. Hanging out with you, uh, yeah. I'm not sure, and it I used to be like this. I don't understand. <laughs> so I literally, I took the pillowcase off and I took a photo of the brand. Yeah, it was Dunlop Pillow, I think it was, and it, and it was stripy yeah. kind of. And it I was think just one word, Dunlop Pillow. Dunlop Pillow, and mm. it was beautiful. So I then I went into Harvey Norman, mm. and I just I bought two, and they were. Very expensive. Yeah. Like, very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought, you know what? Best night's sleep ever. Mm. Best night's sleep ever. Yeah. Got home. Turned out that um, I think I had a really good night's sleep because we had quite a bit of wine. Oh. And it might not have been the pillow. Oh, it was okay. like the magic. Right. So I went back to my ta- my God, Kmart. I thought you were going to say, so I went back to Harvey Norman, gave him the pillows back and said, <laughs> turns out no. it's the wine. No. <laughs> No, great pillow. You just, you've got to get the pillow. right pillow for the right head. It's of course quite, you do. It's quite the thing. It's yep. hard to figure out. Mm-hmm. So I've also got this pillow that I love from Kmart that's a cooling pillow. Have you seen those ones that have got the kind of oh, yeah. blue on them yeah. and they cool? Because I'm quite hot. We've talked about in bed. I'm hot. Hot mess. I'm hot. Yep. Like I'm a furnace. Yeah. So I, I got a cooling pillow, which I love. That one was... <laughs> yeah, I'm hot. 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 In bed. Mm. Pillow talk. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need an electric blanket because we've got me. <laughs> Lars doesn't enjoy this voice when I do this voice. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Came up. Came up. I quite like that. Came up. Pillow. Came up. Pillow. Pillow. <clears throat> pillow. And it's just about finding the one that you know yeah, sure. suits your neck, suits your height, suits the width of your shoulders, all that sort of stuff. Mm. So anyway, I I said to my mum and dad, "Do you want to try this pillow? It's fantastic. It was fifty million dollars." Yeah. Then we yeah we'll try it. So they tried it. It was too too high for mum and dad as well. Mm-hmm. So it's like the Goldilocks of pillows. So, <laughs> so my brother's birthday comes around, and my mum goes, "Oh, third hand pillow. We should, what a great idea. <laughs> we should give this pillow to Jeff. It's like it's basically brand new. Yeah, pretty much. We put pillow cases on it. It's basically." Oh, Put we some plastic back on just, it. <laughs> Go and ask them at Harvey Norman if you can have one of the pillow ca- pillow plastics. Just the, they're throwing it just away anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. From one of your Displays. ones that you put on display. Yes. When you take the plastic off, can I have that so Such. I can wrap it around one I bought from you a year ago okay. so I can give it as a present Best to idea someone? Ever. Like it's a, actually, have you got the box? Can oh. I have the box? Can you put a price tag on it and make? You, feel free to put whatever price tag on well, it you like. It, the price tag is important because I. So what I did, Mum. Mum said, "Look, I'll, I'll just kind of wrap it up and put it in with Jeff's ex, as an extra present." I said, "That's a great idea. He'll love it." So as he was um, opening it, I'm explaining, saying, "Not, not the full story." Not the full. Not till you're on the radio. That no. one. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm saying this was a really expensive pillow. Like it's, and he he gets it out and he's taking it out, and, and I said, "Really, Jeff? Really expensive pillow? You're gonna?" He goes, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I love it. Thank you so much." He puts his head and he squishes. He goes, "Oh, that's perfect." And as he takes it out of the bag, I realise it's the Kmart pillow. No. <laughs> You gave him the wrong one. I didn't say anything. So he thinks he's got a $400 pillow. It's it's a placebo thing. It's a $20 20 came up. Yeah, brilliant. (laughs) The Robert and Gina podcast. We were just speaking to Michelle, who was telling us she's off to go and massage horses today. That's what we thought we heard, right? I thought she said that, and then she said I did. So maybe she didn't hear what we said when we said, oh, no, we thought you said massaging horses. Yeah. Is that a job? (sighs) I think today's the day she finds out it's not. <laughs> um, I, I, let's get her back on the line. Hi, Michelle. Hello, how are you? Now, we thought you said you massage horses. Yep, that's exactly what I do. Okay. Hi. I've got a couple of questions. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> the shape of the bed. Now, when they put their face in the hole... <laughs> it has to be a really big hole. A big hole? <laughs> And I'm picturing four legs just, like, down either side. Well, at least they have their four legs that they stand on while I do it. So oh, it makes it a little bit easier. Still standing. Oh. Okay. Do they love it when they see, see you walking towards them? They do get used to it. The first time they do um, find it a little bit, sometimes not confronting, but they find it a little bit funny. Oh, yeah. I do sports massage, so it is to help them and fix them and make them perform better. Well, oh, this is ridiculous. Um, but by the I mean, second or third time, they love me. I didn't mean ridiculous. <laughs> I meant fantastic. It, um, it's That's it's really interesting. Jobs that you don't know. You don't that know. Are, so that they're, 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 they're racing horses, are they? Yeah, so I do all horses. I do race horses. I do young horses, dressage, show jumping, trail riding. Can they claim it if they get a um, remedial one? Can they claim it on their health fund thing? I wish. I wish most uh, bills could uh, be claimed through any health fund. Yeah. We're not that lucky in the horse world. So, and what type do we do? Are you Thai massage? Are you, do you walk on their back? <laughs> So we do, well, not walking on their back. I do sports massage, but um, sometimes I do feel like people think I should bring whale music and oil and make it a lot more. A know, in a dark room. A bit, maybe get in some. In a dark room. That might help the owners a little bit more than the horses. The <laughs> diffuser thing? The, the yeah, air? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Just a bit of that. A bit of lavender oil. A little bit of lavender yeah, oil. Yeah. Just relax them a little bit more. <laughs> I, I, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> there's um there's a place I've seen here on the coast where doggies can go to get massages. Aww, now that's a job yeah. I'd love to do. Yeah. Just because I, I what I do for free anyway. <laughs> Sit on the couch with Harley Doggerson. Yeah. I just, Rubbing the ears. Oh, dogs love yeah. a little rub on the ears. It's just like that. Much <laughs> yeah. bigger scale, though. <laughs> Much bigger scale. Bigger ears. Yeah. Much bigger ears, definitely. Okay. Uh, so are you good at human massage as well? Um. I have been known to maybe hurt a little bit too much. Yeah. You. Oh, yeah. yeah. Them, they're all muscle, man, those horses. Yeah. yeah. Look, some of them are very big. My own horses are quite big. We've, you know, generally got 16 plus hand horses. So I practice on all the big ones, which make everyone else a lot easier. Wow. Amazing. Did not know that was a job. Nope. Yeah. Didn't yeah. know. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could almost do a daily segment called Did Not Know That Was a Job. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I've so got many unusual jobs. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Ha! Well, we were today years old. We don't want to uh, hold you up. We know there's probably a horse in a paddock looking over at, at you right now. It's already <laughs> stripped off. It's got its tail around yep. the waist. <laughs> Waiting to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lying down. Lying down, unsure of where to put the towel over itself. Do I just cover the lower part of me or do I, do I cover the whole thing? Is she going to use oil or is this yeah. going <laughs> to pull the hairs out as she's doing it? Right. Enjoy your day at work. Thanks for talking to us. The Rabbit and Zena Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.